It's the insane one, Ricky Crane, getting it done right now. The insane one, Rick Crane, and out front right now. My dad had surprised us both with bikes at the track. I cried, I wanted nothing to do with it, that I didn't have to do it if I didn't want to, and so I watched that whole night, and by the end of the night, I wanted to try it. Ever since then, I was hooked, I fell in love. On the gate, riders ready, watch the light. wanted to be like my older brother and so whatever he was doing I was going to try. I grew up riding with boys and, and I think for my brother and his friends it was a fun game to try to get me to jump things. They knew that I wasn't capable of jumping but you know I would try it and I was a lot more brave then than I am now that's for sure. You know, I was always the little one in the gate. My whole life, I, I grew up being the little one in the gate. You know, I was the little one in school and um, eight and 80 pounds. I never hit 80 pounds, so as you can imagine, that was pretty embarrassing when my parents would pick up friends or whatever and I had to get in my booster seat in eighth grade. We're all dealt with different circumstances, right? I was dealt with being little my whole life and that was just something I had to overcome. You know, my parents were always very adamant if I want to pursue this and, you know, be the best in my class, then I needed to work hard. They always told me that hard work beats talent, and it's so true. I had to learn how to be mentally and physically tough in order to keep up. And as I got older, that mental toughness helped me become the athlete that I am today. You know, we all have our own disadvantages and, you know, whatever the case is. If you have a dream and you want to be in the top of your sport and you want to make it to the Olympics, and I think that it's important to not let, you know, the small disadvantages that we all have get in the way of who we want to be.